They plan to extend their domination and control to the areas of the South Seas. They plan what areas they would take and how they would be governed. They plan to take French Indochina by force, if necessary. They took Indochina by military force and through military pressure. They plan to exploit the Netherlands East Indies. And when the latter bravely resists, they plan to take that area by force. They plan to threaten the United States if it did not give in to Japan's demands that it would have to face Japan as an enemy. In the event the United States became involved in war with Germany and did so threaten. They plan to go to war with the United States and Great Britain <coughs> if those nations accidents, no untoward events. These defendants were not mere automatons. They were not replaceable cogs in a machine. They were not playthings of fate caught in a maelstrom of destiny from which there was no extrication. These men were the brains of an empire. They were the leaders of a nation's destiny. It was theirs to choose whether their nation would lead an honored life in the family of nations, willing to settle differences that might arise in an amicable and lawful matter, manner, or whether their nation would embark upon a program of aggrandizement and war against the other members of the family of nations and would become a symbol of evil throughout the world. They made their choice. For this choice, they must bear the guilt, a guilt which is perhaps greater than that of any group of men who have stood before the bar of justice in the entire history of the world. These men were not the hoodlums who were the powerful part of the group which stood before the tribunal tribunal at Nuremberg, dregs of a criminal environment, thoroughly schooled in the ways of crime and knowing no other methods but those of crime. These men were supposed to be the elite of the nation, the honest and trusted leaders to whom the fate of the nation had been confidently entrusted. Some of them were men who held, were held in high respect and esteem as men of peace and goodwill by the leaders and representatives of other nations. These men knew the differences between good and evil. They knew the obligations to which they had solemnly pledged their nation. With full knowledge, they voluntarily made their choice for evil, to disregard the obligations and to betray the faith which their own people and others had in them. With full knowledge, they voluntarily elected to follow the path of war, bringing death and injury to millions of human beings and destruction and hate wherever their forces went. They gamble with the destiny of the people of their nation, and like common felons everywhere, brought only death and hurt and destruction and chaos to those whose care had been entrusted to them. For this choice, these men now stand before this tribunal awaiting judgment. They must be judged for what their acts were and for what they were intended to be. These acts were pursuant to their own choice. They made their choice for aggression and for war and they made it freely and voluntarily. For this choice, they must bear the guilt. The tribunal reserves its judgment and adjourns to a time to be affixed and announced. Thank you.